For three months, these students held workshops and debates, and although they say there were ups and downs throughout the process, overall, they all came out more open-minded. It was, it was really an incredible process. The question they were asked was, can we revitalize our democracy? And tonight, 30 students from seven high schools put their heads together to respond. A lot of times when we think diverse group, we think race and gender, but what's different about this group is we have such a diversity of minds. We said, okay, we're going to listen to each other, but we're going to respect each other. We're also going to assume good intentions, and I think that's something that people don't really do very often. Focusing on four major topics, guns, education, race, and drugs, the students of varying beliefs and backgrounds presented their policy ideas to a group of candidates running for governor. They were candid with us and they were honest and they didn't get up there and try and tell us their platform and tell us everything that they have to say and be official about. Like they were, they were very open with us and I really appreciated that. Although many of the students who took the stage are too young to vote, they say it's still important that their voices be heard. I know we're not old enough to vote, but we're never too young to hold important discussions. One of the questions posed back at the students, who of your classmates was not part of this conversation, and how will you get them involved? I think that we should bring in the actual people and say, here, let's just listen to their perspective and say, here's someone else's story. Now, what do you think about that? Because I think you can say, oh, we're inclusive, but actually showing that is something else. The kids and organizers say they hope that even more programs like the, this one will be held across the state so that even more students can get involved. Live in Westbrook tonight, Erin Dixon, WMTW News 8.